take two, and uh, this time with video. Alright, this is the side of the conrod that doesn't have heavy machining. There's a little bit of a, a camper to the uh, the brass bushing. And um, we'll flip over to this side. Right, this side has the, the heavy machining you can see right there at the tip of my fingernail. And um, it also has a slight camper to the to the bushing. Uh, I'm looking at this side, the, the wrist pin side. They've machined that off a little too. I, I'm assuming that's to size it to the appropriate size. It's got a little bit of a, a bevel, but you know it's up on the wrist pin. There's nothing that it touches. And you can see that's the side they machined, and um, but it also has a bevel. So machine side, machined, machined a little bit, not so much. So I'm kind of at a loss. I'm thinking that this side should go towards the crankshaft, which would then move the the section of the conrod farther away from the, the crankshaft, maybe preventing windage. And the flat spot should go towards the back plate to give it a larger surface area to reduce the pressure, which would reduce wear. Not that the conrod wants to go back against the back plate, but that's the only thing that fall keeps it from falling off the, uh, the the wrist pin, or I mean the the conrod pin on the uh, crankshaft. So I don't know. It's I, I really did think this was symmetrical. It is not. No, no, no.